Hey what's going on guys, Tessie Welty here and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for 1.12.2 uh, In this tutorial we are going to be going over custom loot tables um, As uh, on our entity mini series we didn't manage to do it as we had some issues with it um, So let's get started what you want to do, um, actually before I do that, I want to mention there's one thing we didn't do in the event tutorial which I totally forgot and that this needs to be a subscriber then. Um, that will now be in the description of the event tutorial um, but I just realised that we didn't have that and uh, obviously that would be an issue and it wouldn't have registered so yeah that's probably quite a big issue so uh, for custom loot tables we need to go ahead and create an event and we're going to call this event um, loot table event inside here we need to obviously do at subscribe event and then we need public void um, loot tables loot table drop uh, actually custom loot table drop and in the parameters we are going to have living drops event event and in here we're going to put random rand is equal to a new random and import both random subscribe event and living drops event then you want to do if event dot uh, get entity living obviously my clips has to do its stuff for some reason gets entity living is instance in instance is instance of okay I can't type today oh my god there we go instance of entity test then we need to do if Rand dot next int. Now let's just import entity test. So here, this is the um, we need a parameter here. So this is the chance of it dropping the loot table. Um, so you can go ahead and do something like uh, if you put fifty, Rand dot next int is equal fifty, and no, fifty equals zero then that means that there is a 1 in 50 chance that it will drop this item so just for testing purposes I'm going to put this to 5 um, so we have a reasonable chance but you pro probably want to put it to a, like 1 so it drops almost every time and then you, for example you could have an extra drop so if uh, rand.nextint uh, is equal 20 no, 20 is equal 0 then we can do uh, the same thing so inside of these if statements you want to put event dot get entity living dot entity drop item new item stack and we can delete offset and put that down there inside of here we can simply just put whatever we want it to drop so I want mine to drop um, let's see let's let's make it drop the lightning staff okay so it actually requires a float um, so I'm just gonna put 0 0.0 F um, because it's offset and we don't want any offset And obviously for this one, you would do event 
dot get entity living dot entity drop item new item stack and then 0, 0.0 f and in here we will actually do block in it dot and we will make it drop um, silver furnace sure I know it's random but it's something um, in fact in this video we will also go over how to override um, vanilla loot tables so there are several ways you can do this you can do this via actually doing a JSON loot table or you can do it via event just like we're doing here so you would just add another oh let's just change this to an else if and yeah you would go down here and you would add another if statement so if event dot get entity living is dot uh, you could do dot equals and then you could do uh, entity silverfish I believe Wait, let me just check. Uh, I don't really know how to use dot equals in this uh, circumstance. Okay, no, so we'll just do instance of uh, entity silverfish. Then we can do um, if brand dot next int of um I don't know five is equal to zero <coughs> then we can do event dot um gets entity living dot entity drop item equals uh, yeah and then here we put a new item stack and I want to make it drop our silver block and 0.0f import entity silverfish or not maybe we go. wait would that be why we can't use equals Wait, let's just test this. Ha. Huh. So it should work. Um, I think we should be able to maybe cast um, object here. Let's see if that works. No, that doesn't work either. Right, that's fine. Um, oh, I forgot to change it back to instance of. There you go. So now let's um, let's actually just. Oh, we need to register the event, of course. So let's go into our. Um, do we put it in in it? No. Util handlers and go to. Am I blind? There it is. Event handler. And then we can go up here, and we can do um, loot. Table. What did we call it? Loot. Um, loot table event. There we go. Loot table event equals loot event. No, loot event equals new loot table event. And then we can do Minecraft Forge. Minecraft 
Forge. Dot event bus. Dot register. Loot event. And give that a save. Now we can actually go ahead and run the game. So I will see you guys in the game. This guy's just got in the game and I've spawned a few of them in. So let's go ahead and kill one. And you see it drops lightning staff. Um, but obviously they will only drop it. Obviously there's a 1 in 2 chance that they will drop it. So it's actually quite common. Um, however if we kill a silverfish. Nope not first time. There you go, we got it a second time. But yeah, you can see it's quite rare. We've only got one from all the silverfish we've killed. And if I kill a load more of my test mobs, um, we should, after a while, of course. Oh, I actually haven't made uh, a stack limit for these. Apparently, it's just spam, and that's probably. Oh, wrong thing. What did I even add as the second drop? Whatever it was, it was quite rare by the looks of things. Um, <laughs> we could be here for a while by the looks of things. We've killed 20, so we should have got one by now. Whatever it was. Um, it's just a matter of what it was. Oh yeah, it was a... Um, what was it? Silver furnace. Hmm. It's quite odd actually that we're not getting any. Because we should be. So here's my plan. We didn't get one from that. Whoa, holy damn, these guys are insane. Still nothing. Hmm, I mean, we can't really make it much. Um, what did I put the rarity as? One in 20. Actually, one in 21. Yeah, and we haven't got a single one. That's actually quite odd. Uh, maybe it's because it's an else if. I think if you change that to an if, that should work. Um, but I'm not going to test that right now. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe. If you really enjoyed, please do be sure to share it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.